Hello. Hello. We're Fresh. here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I look like a 15 year old boy today because I haven't done my hair. Um, just a little life showered. update. <laughs> yep, Megan did the shower and so did I. That's why my hair's not done. Mm -hmm. But just a little life update. Um, one, I don't usually use tank tops. This is actually my best friend, Will. So <laughs> shout out to Will. Um, two, we have gotten the COVID. We got the vid. Yes. We might have done a separate video on this and already <clears> shared <throat> it uh, with you guys, but um, yeah, we are in the middle of having COVID-19. Um, it is, what is August of 2021, so um, took probably- took this long for us to get it. <laughs> yeah, we have never gotten it. Yeah. Um, not yet. And so it's crazy that we have it now, but it's not the most pleasurable thing. Um, I have no sense of taste or smell <laughs> at all. I can't taste or smell anything. Megan doesn't believe me. But I can't. Because <laughs> I, I can, can still taste and right. smell. Right. I have like just like not pain, but like I feel congested, kind of like normal sickness. Mm -hmm. um, my throat has been hurting. We've both been running low grade fevers. Nothing yeah. like crazy. We haven't, I don't think neither of us have been above like 10. My highest was 101.8, but yeah. I, I wasn't been taking above any fever reducers. Yeah, so we're doing well. Um, yeah, we're, no, we're still good. Yeah. We're sick. But yeah, it's been about crazy. six days, five days um, since we've uh, gotten it, we think. Yeah. so. But we started to run low on groceries, and we obviously can't go anywhere. Yep. So we decided that since we're stuck at home, it would be the best time to try a meal service, yep. like a delivery service. So we thought, well, might as well, might as well try HelloFresh. So here we are. Yeah, we paid for this with our own money. This yep. is not sponsored. It's nope. not an ad. We bought it, so this is going to be honest opinion. So if you yep. came here because you're wanting to, a truthful, you know, <laughs> opinion about HelloFresh, stick around because we're going to we're going to try it now. Yep, and it's going <laughs> to hopefully be good because some yeah. of the options we picked. So how how it works real quick is we got to pick from a variety of maybe 14 different options for the first week. Yeah. Um and we picked 6, so we're going with 6 uh, meals per week. Yeah. Um, which we'll give you guys the pricing at the end of the video of how much we paid for it. Mm -hmm. um, but we picked six good meals. So we're going to kind of go through day by day and we might make the six videos. We might make it one video, but we're yeah. ready to <laughs> eat. <laughs> we're going to try. So here we go. We're going to get all the ingredients out and start doing it. Yeah. Maybe we'll put it on the ground. It's really tall. Okay. And we selected all these, right? Yeah, we did. We got to choose. I think from like 20 or something. We got six. Wow. All right. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's like, is this supposed to be cold? Oh yeah, the beef is still cold. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's weird. That's so cool though. All right. Are they like divided by, yeah. They're divided by meals, so this is the... That's to keep everything cold. Right? Yeah. Yes, we got all this meat. Fun. Wow, oh, this is gonna be so cool. Nice. Okay. Maybe Dijon pork tenderloin looks like that. Chicken bowls. Chicken sausage routine. Also, like tomato with chicken. Firecracker meatballs. Which are probably really good. And the pork and pepper enchiladas. We had enchiladas last night. So we'll Maybe just the first one, the pork. pork. I can't really taste anything, you know? <laughs> so it's gonna be pointless. Alright. Sounds good? Alright. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Alright. Let me get in this camera. That's all we got right now. So we got pork tenderloin. And we have a big nice bag, which I'm gonna show you right now what's in here. Our pork instructions this is so cool because we can keep this and use it in the future all right so prep adjust rack to middle position all right well it's already in the middle position so that's where we normally keep it so it's already in the middle position and preheat oven to 450 
fake. All right, wash and dry all produce. You want to take care of the washing? I can wash and dry it, sure. Alright, now our potatoes are diced. Now we're going to zest and quarter our lemon. Alright, we have our lemon and our ginger. Alright, so now it says pick rosemary leaves from the stems, mince leaves until you have one tablespoon. All right, we are now going to salt this water with these potatoes. All right, so we'll salt this. Pretty salted. It just says salt and pepper, so that's all I'm gonna do. And then while you're doing that, I'll get this going over medium heat. And we'll add some oil. So now I have to get these green beans ready to go in the pan. So it says, toss green beans in a large bowl with a drizzle of oil, salt, and pepper spread out on the opposite side of sheet from pork. So I'm gonna get these green beans tossed with some oil. I'm gonna toss these up. All right, I have my green beans here. We're just gonna add these babies. And then pop this in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. That is a lot of rosemary, goodness gracious. I'm not sure I'm gonna like that sauce, but we'll see. It's interesting that our sauce didn't get red. transfer this to a cutting board and then I'm gonna chop it into slices. Okay. Josie wants some. Yeah, she does. That looks pretty good. I mean, that looks pretty close, I would say. <laughs> All right, now to try it, I guess. Yeah, let's go try it. All right, time to try. Yes. <laughs> Moment of truth. Uh, then again, guys, my opinion is going to be null and void. I, I literally can't taste anything. Well, maybe it'll be so good that you can taste it. I hope so. Let's try. The sauce is really good on the pork, actually. You like it? Mm-hmm. Well, David can't taste it. But it's good. I could eat this lemon. <laughs> you want to see? No, it's not. Well, I can taste and it's actually really good. I like the sauce, even though it didn't come out red, like the picture. It still tastes really good. I mean, it looks really good, guys. Like, take a look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. And what, it was just surprising because I was checking the temperature on the pork. Normally, pork is like a little red, right? Like a little pink? I don't know. I don't need a lot of pork. It's pretty brown. But it's still juicy, like, it's, it didn't lose any juice. Thumbs up from me. Very good. But 
We'll catch you tomorrow when we try our next meal for Hello Fresh. Hopefully we're a little bit more dressed up. Sorry you had to look <laughs> at me all day. I'm sick. Megan's sick, you know? Yeah. All right. It is day two of eating Hello Fresh. We'll try Hello Fresh. Today we're making chicken sausage rigatoni. We got all our supplies here. And we're gonna get cooking because we are hungry. It is now 9 p.m., way past dinner time, but we're sick, so we're eating a little bit late today. <laughs> but let's get into it. All right, we have our sweet Italian chicken sausage mix, cream sauce, chili flakes, Parmesan, rigatoni noodles, tomato paste, Italian seasoning, a red pepper and some green onion. Oh, scallions. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so we're bringing some water to a boil and now I'm going to core, de-seed, and dice this bell pepper. peppers, our scallions, separated whites and greens, and now we're going to start putting some red peppers, I believe, into the pan, but I'm going to double check. This is olive oil. This is a ton of pepper. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the water's boiling. I'm going to add the nudes. Proper portion of pasta we should be like using. <laughs> Six ounces. We use a whole box normally. Yeah. We just dump the whole box, which is a waste. But normally you take it to lunch. Yep. Get brown, babies. Get brown. Italian chicken sausage mix. Doesn't look very good. Like I'm sure it's good, but like raw too. And white salad. Season with salt and pepper. Again. <laughs> so like in case you forgot to season the salt and pepper, we're gonna remind you three different times. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Looking pretty good. Well now it's 9.25, so what time did we start this? Nine? Yeah. So it's been about 30 minutes. Yeah, not bad. No, let's see, what, is, what does it say? It says it takes us, how long? Cook time, 20 minutes. So we're right on par. Yeah, I think we did good. All right, I think it's ready to plate and we add Parmesan and some scallions and get it go. Yep. Wow, that looks pretty good.
Let's take a look. How did we do? So obviously they print these um, papers, these posters, in very vibrant colors. <laughs> yeah. It's very saturated. They turn that contrast all the way up. <laughs> oh yeah, so it does look pretty close and it looks like it's probably gonna be pretty good, huh? I guess we'll see. I'm not really a big sausage person, but I do like chicken. Yeah. I've never had chicken sausage. <laughs> I like chicken and I like sausage, so. I wish I could smell it. I can't smell I can't anything. Sm and I can't <laughs> taste anything, but Megan's gonna be the taste. I tester. can still taste, so that hasn't gone away. All right, <clears throat> since I cannot taste at all, I'm going to just let you guys get Watch Megan's me first reaction. <laughs> okay, let's see. I know it's gonna be hot. Probably. It's got a little bit of kick. Does it? <laughs> well, we did put the red pepper flakes in there. I mean, yeah, I have nothing to complain about it. Pretty good? Yeah, it tastes good. The sausage is good. It's not like normal sausage. I think that's because it's chicken sausage. I don't yeah. know what chicken sausage is. I'm assuming sausage made from chicken. <laughs> well, this was sweet Italian sausage mm -hmm. uh, with chicken. So maybe it's sweet Italian chicken sausage, actually. We cooked the noodles good, so good. that's good. Sometimes noodles are hard to like gauge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, the sauce, it's creamy. This is my favorite type of sauce, red cream sauce, yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I like it, it's good. What would you give it one out of 10? I mean, there's no like, maybe it's cause I'm sick and I can't like taste all the flavors, but I wouldn't say it's like, 10 out of 10, like yeah, best what meal would you ever. That? I would give it like a six. A six out of 10, all a right. A six. Perfect, yeah. well, we're gonna finish this up and we will catch you guys tomorrow when we make our next meal, right? Bye. Bye. All right, day three, eating Hello Fresh, and today we're doing spicy harissa chicken bowls. Woo! We've never had anything like this. No, we haven't, but I can tell you guys that your boy got his taste back just a little bit. Yeah. Um, not obviously not my fashion sense back. Excuse my hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm st we're still sick, so I, I'm not <laughs> keeping up with myself, but. No. Uh, which is why I'm trying not to be in most of these videos. <laughs> but we are going to try this today, and this is something we wouldn't normally eat, which no. was the whole purpose of us actually um, going on this on endeavor. Fresh. Right, yeah, exactly. exactly. Jinx. Jinx. We get feta cheese, we get tomatoes, we get dill, uh, Tunisian spice blend, ooh. And there's also vinaigrette dressing on here, which um, is not something I would normally put on a bowl at all. Yeah, so yeah. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. I I have no idea how we'll feel about this one. This is gonna be the test. And I'm hoping I could taste a little bit of this, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. But anyways, we're gonna start with it. Here we go. All right, we have some chicken breast strips, harissa powder, Greek vinaigrette, uh, tomato, cucumber, bulgur wheat, chicken stock, Tunisian sauce, or, well, <laughs> Tunisian spice, and some feta cheese. Looks like it's doing good. Yeah, chicken should almost be done. And then we're just gonna add this to our bowls. You can add more tomato if you want. And then I have to add a little dough. All right, we'll wait till the chicken's done and plate. <laughs> here's the goal and here's the reality. Pretty close. Yeah, can't almost really exactly see the, the wheat, but it's underneath the chicken. Yeah. I'm honestly a little bit nervous to try this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Here's a fork for you. <laughs> I feel like a little kid. I'm like, I don't want to try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm trying to get everything.
It's not bad. It's spicy though. It's Is it? spicy. Mm-hmm. I wish they all my taste buds haven't come back because I don't really taste it. <laughs> I taste the cucumber a little bit. It tastes... I mean, the wheat is nice, actually. It's kind of nice. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was not expecting to like this, honestly. Well, out of a 10, what would you rate it? Mm -hmm. Like a five and a half. Five I like yesterday's better, but this surprised me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right. I liked it. <laughs> well, we'll Did you like it? Time. I liked it. Yeah, it's spicy. I like it. All right. A few moments later. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, no more five and a half. <laughs> it's like a two. A two. Megan's I don't really like it. Megan's not a fan of feta cheese. No, I'm not. Or tomatoes. Yeah, and I can't really taste it that much, so. <sighs> I'm trying to just follow it down this <laughs> I don't know. This might be something for a lot of people. I just don't know. It's <laughs> people. Mm. Mm mm. No. I feel like if I was eating this um, with normal taste buds, I would like it. Yeah, I feel like you would too. I um, it's just got a lot of things I don't like in it. Yeah, that's fair. It's also a texture thing. Like it's very like mushy. squishy. The chicken is good though. I like the chicken. That's right. about it though. Well, let's hope tomorrow's better. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Another day, another meal. <laughs> another day, another dinner. And what do we got today? This is what we're making tonight. Firecracker meat. <laughs> oh, wow. Hopefully they're good. I like a good meatball. Me too. I love rice. And guess what this one is? Hall of Fame. This is the only meal that we got this week that is a part of their Hall of Fame collection. Yeah. And we didn't have to pay extra, so that's cool. Yep. And it does look the best. I think that the sauce, the firecracker mm -hmm. sauce, which I love on shrimp, yeah, um, is going to be amazing. Yeah, it should be good. So we're going to... Get to cooking this. It looks like it shouldn't be too hard. It does take a little bit longer than the other ones, so we'll see. Prep 10, cook 40. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, we were just about to do our signature intro of dropping everything onto the stove here when we noticed our green beans are bad. I think they're bad, yeah. Yeah, there's some white, like, I don't know, frothy liquid in there. Might have been our fault. Why? We had them in the fridge the whole time. Mm. Why was it our fault? Are we supposed to use it in a certain amount of time? Okay. What do you mean? It's still the first week. We just got these. Yeah, you're right. So no, yeah. this is not our fault. These are still <laughs> cold. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't say to freeze any of these bags, by the way. Um, these, Everything in these bags, I we put in the refrigerator. We didn't read any steps. It didn't say to put anything in the freezer except for the meat. Um, so... Mm. I wouldn't use them. We have... Uh, it could just be the white coating on the outside. Yeah, those don't, they don't, they're sticky. Yeah, I wouldn't, eat them. I wouldn't eat them. Luckily, we have our own green beans. We do. We're going to yeah. use our own green beans. But we will the email meat, HelloFresh. The meat we know is good, though, because the meat we yeah. had in the freezer. So we have some scallions, soy sauce, jasmine rice, sriracha, sour cream, honey, mayonnaise, ginger, panko breadcrumbs. And of course, ground beef. E. D is in David. D. M. Williams. Oh, okay. Um, it is a small letter or a big letter? Um, it shouldn't really matter, but it's a small mat. It's a small letter. D is in David. M is in Megan. Yeah, I already. I already. Yeah, your account. Your account is right here. Um, you so you already received a two box. Am I correct? Any favorite so far? Um, say it again, I'm sorry. Um, I see here that you received a two box, boxes from HelloFresh. Uh, um, we've only received one, one so far. One. Oh, uh, okay. I'm so sorry for that. Uh, one order. Yes, we've only received one, but we okay. do have a second order on the way. Um, can I, would you mind if I put in hold while I'm filing a early for? Not a problem. Thank you so much. All right, so we're on hold with HelloFresh, and the first representative I called, um, they couldn't hear me at all, which is weird, but um, now we're on hold. We're going to see. We just told them that the green beans were uh, spoiled, um, so we're going to see what they do. They said that they're going to fire what's called an error inquiry, um, so we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. Um, for clarification, is it 
Green bean or black beans? Uh, green beans. There we go. Thank you for patiently waiting. Um, I already filed a credit file as a compensation of this inconvenience. Um, your account will be credited with an amount of seventeen dollars and twenty six cents. Okay. 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 Perfect. Oh, is there anything else I can assist you with? No. So will that come out of our next boxes or the box we already ordered? Yes. Uh, okay. Perfect. All right. It will come out in your next. That is it. I appreciate it. As you guys can tell, I just finished a survey and... Are scallions supposed to make your eyes water? Are they like onions? I think they are like onions. They're like green onions. My eyes. Are they watering? Yeah. But anyways, you guys saw it. Uh, they're giving us a $17.43 or whatever um, credit, which is crazy because I don't think the meal was that expensive. Was yeah, it? Um, yeah, I can't... No, it no. wasn't. It couldn't have been. Because maximum it was eleven dollars because our our next box was seventy one dollars and it was six meals, right? Yeah. Um so I don't know. So actually that would have been a little bit more than eleven dollars uh per you know, two servings. Yeah, so it's per serving. Right. So it might have been because there's two. Yeah, I think it starts out at like four dollars and fifty cents a serving and then as you go up after you uh expire their promo period, it ends up being like eight dollars or seven dollars per serving, which is pretty expensive. And so they that's why. Always have some sort of promo going. Right, like, right. Yeah, we joined with like fifteen meals free or something, which it's not like they just send you fifteen meals free. It was like over the course of however many boxes, you will have saved enough money to have fifteen meals free. Yep. Like so. it's not like your first few boxes are free or anything like that. No, exactly. We thought it was like that, but it's not. Nope, it is not. So. Um, what it is is like exactly like Megan said basically we started out in our first box with six mils was like 40 something dollars Our second box was 71 and our next box. I'm assuming will be like 90 um, And then it'll go up until we have received enough money discounted to Equate to 14 free meals, which is nice. It's a good trial period, you know for us to try this out uh, This was just to try it out because we end up spending like $400 a month on groceries maybe a little bit more um, depending on what we get Granted, this isn't a complete grocery replacement system because we do have to still eat breakfast and lunch. And when I go to work, uh, I will stop to bring lunch. So, you know, we will still be buying groceries um, and any snacks we want. So well, this is kind of like a dinner service. we might try other meal, meal services too. Like we were thinking of trying like Martha and Marley Spoon right, or whatever, right. or maybe some other ones, but we wanted to start with this one because it's the most popular. And yeah, so yeah. here we are. We're trying it. Yep, we're trying it. <laughs> so anyways, let's get back to cooking the best recipe that they sent, hopefully, which mm -hmm. is the meatballs. And here we have green beans and meatballs. Megan just rolled these meatballs, and we're gonna throw these in the oven. These were our green beans, but luckily we had some. Yep. <laughs> Saved the day. Exactly. <laughs> and yep. here's our firecracker sauce that you made. Yep. So I guess we'll get back to you when everything's done cooking. Awesome. Pull them out. Oh yeah. Wow, those look good. <laughs> really this do. One. I guess we'll plate now. Yep. Yes. They do look good though. Mm. Let's see how close it came this time, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. Yeah. yeah, look at the contrast level of that orange sauce. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They but really yeah, it this up. does look good. This looks great, baby. Yeah. Thank you. And now we have to try it though. Yep, let's go no try idea. it. All right, we're here. <laughs> Add a little bit of an upwards angle. And there's rice underneath. There it is. I'm gonna start with the green beans. Yeah. Even though they're ours. Yeah, these are our green beans. Just the way I like them. So good. <laughs> All right. Try meatball. Moving on to the main course. Cheers. Mm. Is it good? It is good. I can't really taste the firecracker sauce too much. Might need to dip mine in some. We have some more, right? Yeah, there is some more sauce. 
good. The meatballs are good. Maybe you can taste it more now. I can taste the soy sauce and the sriracha. It's good. It said add sriracha to taste, and I put the whole thing. <laughs> I would. Yeah. It's good. You'd want me to, so. It's good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one. I think this is good. I can see why it's in the Hall of Fame. What would you rate it? Um. Hmm. Then an eight. Eight. Now that I have my taste buds back, I would rate this. A six. A 10 would be one of the best things I've ever had. It's definitely good, but it's nothing amazing. It is good it's though. It's way better than yesterday's. I think that's why I'm yeah. like, wow. <laughs> yesterday's was not my favorite. Which you rated it too at the last minute. <laughs> yes. This I is did. good though. The meatballs are good. The meat is good. It's just ground beef though, you know? It, yeah. So, that's true. oh well, well, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, day five, right? Yep. Five. All right, we are making balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti. We yeah, love spaghetti. We do. But this, I'm noticing, does not have a sauce. It's just buttery noodles, which should be interesting. But yeah, we like chicken in all of our pastas, so that should be good. Yep. So we are excited, but like Megan said, I am a man who really likes uh, red, sauce. red sauce. So <laughs> I love, sauce. spaghetti is my favorite meal besides mm -hmm. Panda Express um, and, and burgers. And, and mine's burgers. lasagna, yeah. so I mean, we like our red sauce Yep, here. we are and a red sauce family. Buttery noodles. Buttery so. noodles, guys. Mm. I told Megan we should just add our own red sauce. She said no. So. No, we need to follow the recipe. We're gonna try the actual recipe. Yep. And if we don't like it, we'll just add red sauce after. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna follow the recipe, see how it goes. But first step, what are we doing? We are cutting some uh, tomato, our herbs, our garlic. We have our water boiling. We're going to uh, brown the chicken. Yep. And yeah, so we're just gonna get started. So we have our tomato, parsley, chives, and the tiniest bit of garlic that they gave us. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna add our spaghetti. David is prepping our chicken. Oh, added it dry. Patting it dry, you got it all cleaned up. Salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, all that jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna add the noodles to the water, and then the next thing we're gonna start doing is browning our chicken. <laughs> all right, so this is half our mozzarella. Don't mind our dirty pan. Yeah. It's well seasoned. seasoned. Yes. Well seasoned. <laughs> exactly. And then we put it on here. I guess it's supposed to melt while it's in the oven. Beautiful. All right, and here we have our tomatoes and the rest of the Italian seasoning. And then after this cooks for one to two minutes, we're going to add the vinegar, some sugar, and then our chopped chives, parsley, and butter. Side note, isn't this thing so cute? Look, it's even branded HelloFresh. What? So cute. Buttery noodles. And our chicken is now done. Final touches. Okay. What do we think? Let's see what we got here. Look at all that pasta in that bowl. That's beautiful. <laughs> Again, they really increase the contrast of <laughs> yeah. these. This is, this is too much contrast. Look at that. Look at that red vibrant sauce. I don't know how, Look at when that you cook it down. on the, I mean, hey, it looks very good though. It really well, does. time to try. Yep, time to try it. Let's, Let's do go. it. Time to try. Time to try. Buttery noodles. I mean, well, that was just like buttery noodles. <laughs> mm, that would taste like buttery noodles. <laughs> yeah. Let's 
the yeah. sauce is sweet. I'm just gonna mix it all in. What do you guys think? Should I just mix it? I'm doing it. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I like this one a lot, actually. I feel like it's like healthier. With all the butter in there? <laughs> I guess it's, it's healthier than That's true. sugary red sauce. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, what would you give it? Um, let's see, probably a six. I would give it a seven out of 10. This one is right. good. Yep, I love spaghetti. Good, all right, we got a six out of 10. Tomorrow is our last meal and then we'll give an overview of how we felt about the entire experience with HelloFresh, but yeah, tonight was a win. <laughs> all right, it is our last day of this little HelloFresh experiment. And today we are making pork and pepper enchiladas. We love enchiladas in this house. I actually make them quite a bit with my mom's recipe and David likes them. I do, I'm yeah. doing dishes. David's doing the dishes and I'm going to start this dinner, which is our last meal of the week with HelloFresh. So we're gonna start off by preheating the oven and then dicing our veggies. All right, we have a ground pork, tortillas, a green pepper, Mexican blend cheese, some sour cream, scallions, a lime, tomato, Tex-Mex paste, tomato paste, and Southwest spices. All right. Walk somewhere. <laughs> How close did we get? Let's see. We have a lot more white sauce than they do. <laughs> yeah, we do. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And exactly like the picture, really. So it actually said to put it in the oven for three to five minutes, and we had it in for like 10. And then I turned the boiler on because it wasn't really crisping up, but the cheese got crispy, so. Nice. Well, it looks good. Let's go and eat, huh? Yep, let's try it. We're back at it again. Yeah, we got our enchiladas. <laughs> and I finished the dishes. Nice, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. There was so much leftover meat in the pan, so I just kind of put it on top okay. of the enchiladas and cooked it yeah, like that. It looks delicious. But, yeah. Do you have some lemons and some lime, too? Yeah. I'll get some lime in my first bite. Oh, wow, this lime is not juicy. Oh, there you go. So how many enchiladas did we get a piece? Three? Yeah, three. Nice. three. How is it? It's actually really good. I like it a lot. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good, isn't it? That is good. Mmm. And I just put the lime on there. It really tastes it. So good. Wow. Wow. You impressed? I'm it impressed. Good. And you made this uh, enchilada sauce, right? It wasn't mm -hmm. like prepackaged or anything, mm -hmm. right? Well, with like three ingredients, it's right. pretty easy. Well, now you have the recipe that you can actually just make it whenever you want. Yeah, exactly. I really think that that crema on top really makes a difference. And you know, that's, that was just salt, pepper, lime, sour cream, and water. Really? Yeah. Yeah, sour cream on, every, on all Mexican food really is great. I normally don't like sour cream, but I gave it a shot. I did. I added a little bit more, to, a little bit of tomatoes just yeah. to get the full experience. Yeah. But I don't like tomatoes and I don't normally like sour cream, but this is good. I like tomatoes. You know I do. Mm -hmm. And I really think it adds to it. Mm -hmm. I think overall, though, really good. And this was chicken or 
Pork. Pork. Gotcha. Yeah, we never make it with pork. We make it with beef. Uh, no, I use chicken. Oh yeah, chicken. chicken You're chicken. right. It's my but, fault. No. Do I have to be switching? Yeah. yeah. And we actually, spoiler alert, did continue another week of yep. HelloFresh. Yeah. And this box that we just got today actually has beef uh, enchiladas verde. So that's exciting. If they're as good as these, then yep. you win. Well, but, we're going to yeah. finish up this meal and to what, give it a... What, out of 10 now? Oh, out of 10? Eight. Eight? Yeah. This is probably my favorite one. Yeah, this, this is my favorite one too. Um, we saved the best for last. Yeah, but I also didn't taste the first three, so. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true.